Boston, the cradle of liberty, a revolutionary city where the best way to get around is to go full Paul Revere. One if by land, two if by sea, which adds up to going by duck. Based on World War II amphibious landing vehicles, these are the same ducks that have ferried the world champion Red Sox, Bruins, Celtics, and Patriots through the city. A fan or not, you have to agree these ducks are a different drive and worth a dive into the charts. Joining my drive is friend and comic Jim McHugh. He's also the founder of the acclaimed Boston Comedy Festival. There's also Boston comedians that work on these duck tours. A lot of people don't know, they start out, they do, they are, I thought we might meet one tonight. Really? Yes. Because they got a built-in audience. Correct. Sometimes bigger than some of the clubs They're more than played. built in, they're trapped. They're on the water, many of them can't swim. Is that a perfect audience? <laughs> there is no and you, exit. And there's no leaving. I'm gonna do some topical political stuff, I hope it doesn't offend anybody. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Let me tell you a little bit about my ex-girlfriend. Leading our tour is our conductor, Professor Quackenstein. This is a land tour and a river tour. Yeah. yeah. Since the tour started in 1994, the Ducks have carried over 12 million guests through this fully narrated historic tour. As a boy, Benjamin Franklin would go swimming naked in the mill pond of Boston. Outside of the many talents of the conductors, the stars are still the city and the ducks. <laughs> Let's go drive this thing to that river. What do you guys say? Yeah, Let's do it. Like its role model, the truck is an epic boat. And if you try that in your own vehicle, this is as far as you get. And if you're lucky, you can drive a truck on water. The life jackets are above your heads. All right, the life jackets are above your heads. You may want to grab those now. <laughs> it drives just like a school bus without the threat of bullies. When do, when do I get to do donuts? When do you get to? Tom just asked when we get to do donuts. Uh, just so you know, Tom, we can beat any other boat in a world, in the world, in a race with the duck boat, providing that race is on the land. We can also beat any bus in the world in the race, providing we're on the water. It's in the water, exactly. On the open water, driving a duck is really just children's play. In the end, the duck tour gives you more Boston history than you could possibly ask for. I learned a lot, so much that I can't even remember anything. There's so much gold domes and there's a, there's a, a unicorn that came from Scotland for some reason on an old uh, state house where the queen, met the queen, nice guy, uh, went to the park and Hendrix was with the Pope with there the Pope. and 80,000 people. And Ben Franklin was naked. And there's a lot to take in. There is still only one question that needs to be answered. And for that, we head to the garage in Dorchester, where all 28 ducks nest. The question is, in World War II, in the Pacific Theater, mm -hmm. or driving on the streets of Boston, which is tougher on a vehicle? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hmm, that's a good question. Tony Cerulli has been with Boston Duck Tours almost since the beginning, and he knows what makes the ducks run and float. What kind of vehicle is a duck? I mean, <laughs> is it a boat? Is it a car? Is it a truck? It's all those things and more. Uh, <laughs> original World War II ducks were a, uh, a hull built on top of an existing truck chassis. And then through the years, people have modified them to put seats on them, using the tourism. So our ducks are a uh, M35 military chassis that was stripped down, sandblasted, you know, bolstered up here and there, modified for a diesel engine, 
And this is a completely brand new hull that resembles a World War II duck, but it's, it has nothing in common with them other than the name. These ride higher, they're wider, you know, they have better stability, uh, more interior comfort. They're just kind of like an amphibious school bus. They sound like it's it. It's an amphibious school bus. I mean, it you, drives you, like a school bus. Yeah, you were on it. It, it. it sounds like it, it drives like it. It's for all intents and purposes, it's like a school bus. All you need is the little stop sign to fly out, and then you'd be good. That'll be next year. And every year, there is a change to make the ride better and greener. What's been the biggest change in the duck tours and in the vehicles? Mm -hmm. and the diesels were a huge change for us, going from gas engine to diesel. It's a whole new learning curve. You know, you get a shop full of guys, you can work on old cars, and all of a sudden you say, hey, we're gonna work on diesels today. It's like, uh-oh. And what kind of engine does this thing? Uh, Ford 7.3 diesel with Allison transmission. Uh, we run B5 biodiesel too, so try to be more you know, ecologically friendly. And we have a uh, soot filter in the exhaust system, the trap soot. So you, you look at these vehicles and you wouldn't think that you guys are doing things that are green, but you <laughs> are. It's a lot greener than it used to be. I mean, like these floor drains, every one of these goes to oil water separator. We built in the building when we had it put together. So we have solar panels on the roof, to generate a ton of electricity. The Boston Duck Tours are driven to be better, but they won't be tooting their own marine horn anytime soon. Personal You're a must-do in Boston. That's what I hear. <laughs> Man, you are so humble. I, I try. I, I, yeah, I mean, we run a good business. We try very hard to be good citizens and good business people and just good people in general. We try. And you do a good job. Thank you. Take some, take some credit. All right, we're awesome. We are the awesomest duck company in Boston. How about that? All right? <laughs> That's not too much of a stretch. <laughs>